Hello treasures and welcome back. Today I am going to take these pine needles that smell so good and make a couple of mini brooms. So I'm going to make a mini witch's broom and then a mini, mini broom. This was inspired today by my fairy theme and I thought why not make a broom that was tiny enough for a little fairy witch. You can see that it's very easy to take these needles off of the twigs once they are dry. And I'm just going to get a nice stack of needles together in my hand and make sure that they're facing all the same direction, that the ends are together flat, so they're all kind of the same length from the top. And I'm putting them in my hand together where if they're bent, they kind of been bend in towards the other pieces. So there's not a bunch of just crazy flare outs. Then I'm going to use some thread. Now this is um, a quilting thread, so it's nice and strong. And I actually waxed this piece of thread so that it would hold to itself a little bit better and I could get it a little bit tighter to make this kind of um, initial um, tie off on the top here. So I'm just going to kind of wind it around the place that I want it to go and when I tie it off at the end I'm going to feed it through um, a couple of the, the little pieces so that it kind of goes behind them and then I kind of do that back and forth a couple of times so that kind of secures that piece of thread. Then I'm going to take my junk scissors here and cut off all of the little tips that would have connected to the branch here and give myself a flat, um, as close to even <laughs> top of my broom as possible. So again, these are my junk scissors. I do not suggest using a good quality pair of scissors here. Um, these are just out of the junk drawer. And you can see they're very dull and they don't work too fantastic, but it did work. Now I'm gonna take this uh, bamboo skewer for you know making like shish kebabs and cut it down to size to put in the end of my broom. I'm just gonna kind of size it and see where I want my broom to end and then I'm going to use those same junk scissors to cut off the very bottom of my broom. Now you could leave it just as the full entire pine needle um, but I wanted it a little bit shorter than that so I did go ahead and cut off the end. Now I'm just going to use the broom to sweep up because you know what else is a broom for? Afterwards I'm going to go ahead and tie off again an this is also the quilting thread, but this piece is not waxed. So I'm just tying it off to make it a little bit more secure. And then I'm gonna add this charm um, pendant to it, because again, this is a little, little mini witch broom. So I'm gonna put um, this pendulum pendant on the front and then just tie off this string really well and cut off the excess. If you're enjoying this video today and you're not yet a subscriber, be a treasure and hit that subscribe button below. It really helps you stay up to date on all my crafting adventures. Now I'm going to put a little bit of glue just on the end of my broom handle so that it can't um, fall back out of the top. And I'm just going to make a little hole with the other side and then twist it as I stick my handle down so that the glue kind of goes all the way around the broom handle. And then I'm just kind of pressing the glue that seeped back up the top down into the little strands. Then I'm gonna sit it out and let it dry. Let's get on to the mini, mini broom. I'm gonna do this one in a little bit of a different way. I'm going to individually wrap each piece of pine needle with my quilting thread. So I'm just putting it right next to the other one and looping my thread around it. I'm not tying it off on each piece, but I am looping the thread 
around each piece and then every few pieces I wrap the thread around the whole entire bundle. And so I repeat this process continually until I have the size of bundle that I'm looking for for this mini, mini broom. So I speed this up a little bit for you guys. I hope that you can see and understand what I mean by wrapping each individual pine needle here. And I did this because it was so small. I would have preferred to do this on the bigger one as well. However, that would have taken a very lengthy amount of time. So after I get a few together, that's the kind of the width of the broom bristles I want, then I'm just gonna continue to wrap that string all around and I tie it off in the same way where I just kind of put it between the tops of the pine needles in different directions repeatedly so that it will kind of hold and secure that thread. Now I'm gonna go ahead and cut the tops off again to make a flat little top and I'm gonna use a toothpick for the handle on this little mini one. And I just cut the end of the toothpick off so it wouldn't be um, pointy right at the end of my handle. And then I just cut the pine needles down to length for my mini, mini broom. The last step for the mini broom is to kind of fan out the pine needles because they really lay flat and together. So I just use my finger to kind of bend and separate them a little bit so it looks more like a broom. Isn't that cute? And it sweeps very well. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video and you go out and make a broom of your own.